Hey everyone, Todd here and welcome back to a Throwback Thursday video. Now this is going to be the start of a uh, kind of a Throwback Thursday save series. Now what's going to be is every Thursday we're going to update and do a video for Championship Manager 0102, star in Manchester City. Now uh, I'll see Man City played in the first division back in the 2001-2002 uh, season and this is before all the money came flooding in. They bottomed out just a few years after this and uh, they were very, very close. They're on the brink of bankruptcy at one point um, but uh, they were relegated from the Premier League this season before and uh, they've inherited a pretty good squad so this is a pretty interesting challenge for me uh, just because I don't know they just seem like a pretty fun team to to manage and they've got some quality quality talent throughout the squad let's take a look at some of the squad players um, you know, Carla Nash good goalkeeper back in the day Nicky Weaver good young goalkeeper uh, Simon Calissimo, the Australian versatile player, he'll be a useful player from this season. A young Richard Dunn, only 21 years old. Um, Alf Inge Haaland, I think he was the player that was tackled by Roy Keane at his kneecaps, and I think that pretty much ruined this guy's career. I uh, remember that uh, bit of a rivalry at that time period. Uh, Andy Morrison, a uh, Scottish uh, defender there, a very talented young, uh, well, young player, sorry, very talented uh, centre half at this level. Uh, Danny Granville, Pretty good left back, not too bad. Um, then we have uh, Kevin Horlock, a uh, left back as well. Can also play in the uh, holding midfield role. Uh, then we have Psycho, yep, Stuart, Psycho Pierce, 39 years old. Still a good player. Check out, he's even got some 20s. Uh, Termination, Bravery, not surprised there. Aggression, I mean, his nickname is Psycho after all. Uh, strength for 20, work rate is 20. Really, really good attributes, even though he's 39 years old. Uh, then we have Steve Howie, uh, good, solid centre-half. Played four times for England. Forgot he actually played for England, to be honest with you. Uh, then we have Paul Ritchie, the uh, Scottish centre-half. Uh, Danny Tiato, the Australian left winger. Uh, Jeff Whitley, good player. Determination is really high as well. Good centre midfielder. Uh, then we have Bernabea or Bernabia, Ali Bernabia, yep, the Algerian uh, creative player. Not much in terms of uh, physical attributes, as you can see. Strength is only four, uh, pace is only seven. But nevertheless, he's a very creative, talented player. Uh, Nicky Summerby. The English right winger, he's he's actually garbage, to be honest with you, I might try and sell him. Let's get rid of him. Um, next up, Ayo Berkovic, the uh, much-travelled um, Israeli midfielder, played for Southampton back in the day, West Ham, Celtic, Blackburn, come, come where we want after Man City, but good player. Uh, Darren Huckabee, the uh, former Leeds and Coventry striker, uh, can also play a little bit deeper too in that forward role. Uh, then we have Alawani Torre. I think it's pronounced his name, the uh, Nart striker. I uh, can't remember what he did after, but he's a very fast player, obviously. 18 uh, pace, 19 flair, could be a decent player for us this season. Uh, Paolo Wanchop, Costa Rican international, a uh, bit of a Man City legend, to be honest with you. Uh, then we have uh, Sean Goater. Now, who, who, who can't remember this guy? Feed the goat and he will score. Uh, let's take a look at the reserves real quick. Let's see what we got. we got a big, big team. Um, let's see, goalkeeper-wise, Brian Murphy. I think he went on to play in the championship. Uh, Gerald Weekins, yeah, he can definitely go. Transfer list him. Let's get rid of him real quick. Um, who's this guy? Lauren Chavez. Yeah, he's garbage. Let's get rid of him. Again, I'm looking forward to doing this, safe, to be honest with you, because I love Championship Manager 01 and 02. It's my favorite manager game of all time. Uh, Lee Croft. Oh, look at that. He's in the reserves. But Lee Croft, he looks like quite a talent, doesn't he? Nice. Only 16 years old. He's going to be a great player. Let's bring him up. Um... But anyway, as I was saying, uh, it's one of my favorite games pretty much of all time. I spent hours upon hours uh, kind of improving and working on this game. And even even when the, the, even when the next season came out, I think I was still playing this game. I think I was playing this game for about like four to five years, um, which is quite incredible, really, because usually the management games, you kind of get the new one every time it comes out and you kind of move on. But not this one. I stuck with this one for a long, long time, and it's really good to be back in the game itself. And I can kind of remember how to play it because uh, I found out the easiest way to do things that are kind of cheesy, cheap tactics and stuff like that. And I'm not gonna lie, I'm using one of them um, as my main tactic for the team. Oh, Dixon Atuhu, remember that name? Uh, who else did I have on the reserves? Sean Wright Phillips, 19 years old. Let's bring him up. Let's put him in the uh, first team. Uh, Paul Dickoff, the uh, legendary Scottish striker. Who else? Anyone else any good down here? Andy Hunt, Tancliffe? Nope. 
he's not good at all, is he? All right, so I'm trying to get rid of some players because uh, we have a big, big squad. You're going to have a max squad of 50 in uh, Championship Manager 0102. So I'm trying to get rid of some players first before we bring any in. But I do have a couple players in mind. I'm sure a lot of you will remember these tires. Uh, first of all, I can't even spell his name right. Uh, let's do Toe. Tomad, Tomadira, there he is, Tomadira, the legendary Portuguese striker. Now, if you played any of Championship Manager 0102, you would know that Tomadira is pretty much the epitome of um, quality in this game. Um, let me also bring in Bacchusi Alglu. Let's see if I can bring in Bacchusi Alglu. Kennedy Bacchusi Alglu, another great player at this game. Actually, made a, actually played once for. Uh, Sweden at this point. Um, let's try and bring him in 300,000 first and foremost. That'll probably be rejected. Um, but nevertheless, let's give it a try. Um, right back, I, Mike Duff. Absolutely Mike Duff. You have to sign Mike Duff right at the beginning of the game. You can get him pretty cheap as well. You can get him around 50,000. I'll put a bit in for 65 there just to ensure we do the deal. Um, so if you get him at the start of the game, he is a great, great talent. Uh, let's also bring in Jamie Victory, shall we? Yeah, let's bring him in. Let's try and get 65,000. Cheeky little bid there. Uh, next, uh, Mark Kerr, one of my favorite players in uh, our football manager and championship manager games of all time. Uh, can you put a bid in of 425,000 right now? That's probably going to get rejected, so I'm going to have to scout him to make sure we open him up and put as much money as we can on him. Uh, Tuibo Rest. He's always a free transfer to start the game, and what a player he is. At uh, 27 years old, strength is 20, work rate 18, jump in 17, balance, bravery. The guy has it all. He is an absolute... You don't want to be a backup. What's that about? Uh, we'll give him what he wants then. Uh, let's fucking throw a ton of money at him. We desperately need to get him in. He is a fantastic centre-half. All right, let's try and make that deal happen. Who else? Who else? Uh, Jonas Lundin. He's a good attacking midfielder as well. Oh, I can assign him right now. Let's do... Let's give him squad rotation. Let's see if we... Yep, he'll be a deal. Perfect. Which means he'll join at the end... In, in December. December. Yeah, we can wait till December to bring him in. But for a free transfer, that is an awesome free transfer. Um, How about Risp? Is it Risp? Yep. Frederick Risp, his Gutberg uh, partner. Centre half as well. Let's scout him because I think he's going to cost a lot of money to bring in, but he's a great player to get as well. Again, all this is flooding back to me. You know, all these legendary championship manager players uh, I'm looking to prove the squad with. Um, who else can I bring in? I think his name was Cornelius. He's like a he's like a win back. Let's see if I can find him real quick. Uh, where is no, no, yeah, there you go. Cornelius, and that's it. That's it. A uh, fantastic wing back. Is he, he's got a no contract clause? He does not. Okay, he hasn't got any contract clauses. All right, let's put... Oh, well, he's available to bring in on three. Let's just go ahead and do that. Perfect. Works out great. Now, it might be a few months for these players come in, but nevertheless, the big amount of free transfers would be fantastic. So I'm going to leave things as they are for now. Uh, Fixture-wise, we've only got one game for preseason. That's going to have to change. Uh, we're up against Bronby, uh, who are a very good team and from Denmark. Let's go ahead and look at the tactics real quick. Now, this is the uh, tactic I always used in Championship Manager 0102. It was a 4-1-3-2 formation, and uh, this is how the team instructions go. Attacking short, hard, and pressing game as well. Sometimes I'd put on a counter-attack, uh, depending on if we were playing well or not. If we weren't playing very well or we were a weaker team in the league, I would switch to counter-attack as well. Um, but for now, I'm going to leave things as they are. And I think the game is actually today, believe it or not, 17th and 17th. Okay, yeah, so what we'll do is we'll do this game in the episode and then I'll do, um, I'll skip forward through preseason and then I'll show you the transfer, stuff like that. Just do regular kind of update save and then we'll open up the season against Wimbledon. Yep, Wimbledon, when they were still a team, they still existed at the time, away from home. All right, so uh, yeah, let's go in today's game. Why not? Let's do this. Uh, let's do we Nicky Weaver in goal, uh, right back. Let's do uh, Colissimo. Oh, sorry, left back first. Forgot that was different back then. Um, so let's do Psycho at left back. Colissimo at right back with Richard Dunn and Morrison at centre half. Haaland at the holder midfield role. Uh, let's do Berkovic, Whitley as the holder midfielder. Uh, Banabia as the attacking midfielder with. Let's do. Oh, one chop isn't available. He's on international duty. So let's do dick off and let's do huck. Let's do goater. Let's feed the goat and let's also play down Huckabee with him. 
and let's get this game started. But yeah, I'm very excited to do this save, to be honest with you. Um, it's something I've been considering for quite some time. Uh, just because I do love this game so much and it is always fun to interact with you the community out there because obviously a lot of you that are watching this game most likely played this game and you will probably have fond memories of it it's kind of widely regarded as the best management game of all time and for good reason it was pretty much perfection to be honest with you you can sit down and you can go through a season in, in one single set in, uh, seat in so I mean what more can you ask? The detail was there. If you wanted to go into bigger detail, if you wanted to work on extra training and uh, tactics, you could do that. I mean, it just had everything. It, it was the perfect, in my opinion, one of the perfect management games that has ever been. 1-0 uh, up, down, Hunky be getting a goal in 19 minutes. Just missed that one. Now, uh, one thing I like about the match engine in this game too, I don't know, for, for some reason, I feel like the match engine in this game is really well done. Uh, even though it's on very fast right now, you can kind of get a glimpse on what's happening in the game itself before you make any changes. Um, we're dominating the game, as you can see, 81% to the 19. Let's go kick off the second half. I'm not sure about the players' fitness levels. The game's pretty even so far too, and they've uh, just equalized Matthias Jonsson getting the goal. Uh, let's take a look at the uh, stats real quick. So a couple of sixes in there. Might make some changes in a second to freshen some legs up. Let's go and do that now, actually. Why not? Uh, like bring off Psycho. Let's bring on Danny Granville, who I'm actually looking to sell. Because I'm trying to bring in Jamie Victory. Uh, we don't need, like, three left-backs in the squad. Uh, let's also bring on Carlo Nash. Colissimo. Let's bring on Lee Croft for him. At centre-half. Uh, we haven't got many options, but let's leave Andy Morrison in there just for now. Um, Whitley... Let's play. Oh, we got Howie. Never mind. Uh, so T. Corlock's going to play in the middle of the park. Steve Howie's going to come off Andy Morrison. Uh, instead of Berkovic, let's play Summerby. Tiato, let's play for Banabia. Uh, let's do Huckabee for Sean Wright Phillips. And then Gota for Dickoff. There you go. Uh, this is a preseason game, so I uh, came to see how all these guys do. I don't remember how good these guys were in Championship Manager 0102. So I'm going to have to go back and do my research a little bit on these talent because I want to try and be the best and try and to uh, win the Premier League as quick as possible, as you would imagine. Again, it's been done by me a lot in Championship Manager 0102. So I'm hoping I can repeat the success. But uh, anyway, they finished 1-1. Pretty good display. Um, Banabia getting the Man of the Match award. Uh, Huckabee getting a goal as well. So that's very good. Good stuff indeed. So we haven't got any other fixtures right now. Let's go ahead and set that up real quick. Uh, let's play... Let's do Brighton, Hove Albion. Obviously, they've got promoter. They're not available, of course. Uh, let's do... How about Carlisle? Are you available? Yeah, Carlisle. We'll play Carlisle at home on the 24th. Uh, let's go away from home. July 29th. Let's play Darlington. Darlington, the team doesn't exist anymore. Um... Well, my, there you go, fixtures, range. Let's go home again this time. One week before the season, let's play. Uh, let's see if we can get a, let's see if we can get a friendly against, I don't know, should we go major clubs? Let's see if we can bring someone in. Oh, Atletico Madrid win. They're in the second division of the Spanish leagues. Yeah, let's do that. All right, perfect. All right, so Atletico Madrid. So we'll play uh, Carlisle, Darlington, and then Atletico Madrid in the friendlies. Uh, who else can we try and bring in? I think Christian Ronaldo's in this game, isn't he? Christian Ronaldo. Nope, that's not him. Ronaldo. Is this him? Might be him. Can't remember. I don't think it's him. I'm going to look at him. I, th I know he's in the game. I know he's in the game. Maybe because I didn't hit maximum database. Maybe I won't be able to find him. But I know he's in the game. Uh, another player. Oh. Cherno Samba. Gotta be Cherno Samba. All right, let's scout him because I know he costs a lot of money to bring in. So let's scout him first and let's get a good, good bid on him. All right, so yep, all the fixtures were accepted, which is great. All right, so Krupa into Edge Hill. Awesome. I'm going to try and move some Deadwood away, try and bring in as much money as I can because I do want to obviously spend a lot of it, try and restructure the squad with some... Uh, Championship Manager 0102 Legends. And if I can do that, then we should be able to get back in the Premier League really, really quickly. All right, so uh, accept that bid. 300,000, that's fine. That's a good deal for us. Oh, Mike Doss been rejected. All right, so that's fine. It's okay. Let's do 170,000 instead. Scout watch Mark Kerr. There we go. We've 
change transfer bid. All right, let's put in... Normally, it costs about a million pounds with him, so let's put a million pound bid in. Victory's uh, offer has been accepted. He's an important first-team player. Let's give him what he wants. Madeira's offer has been accepted, which is awesome news. The guy gets goals for fun. Uh, crew are going to sign Edge Hill. Awesome, awesome. Okay, Scouch wants Cherno Samba. Only release information about him so we can put a big bid in for 1.3 million it usually costs about that much back acr glue awesome he's wants to be hot prospects which is great means a cheap contract for us so we're going to bring him in so there you go yep as you can see making a lot of moves very very quickly uh, i'm going to try and keep this episodes to around about 15 to 30 minutes long so this first video will only be 15 minutes um, but the next one uh next week or if i get enough likes on this video i'll release it a week early um will be around about uh, 15 to 30 minutes to play a few games because in Championship Manager 0102 you can literally play like a handful of games in half an hour and uh, ideally you know, that'd be pretty good um, but uh, yeah that pretty much wraps up this video um, actually I, I kind of want to sign a player before we leave Summer B oh, Summer bid rejected that's not a surprise all right so 1.3 let's up it to uh, uh, 1.8 million. Let's try 1.8 million. Okay. Sebastian Jonasson, apparently. He looks pretty good, doesn't he? Uh, who else? Gustav Anderson. Uh, kind of so so. And Jonasson. Uh, how much would he cost? How much would he cost? And you've added 50,000. He's a holding midfielder. Could bring us some extra strength in the middle of the park. Uh, instead, let's do. Wait, there was a player. Uh, Josep. I think Guadi Guardiola. I think yeah, Guardiola. Yep, Yosa Guardiola. Free transfer right at the beginning of the game. Forty-six caps for Spain. He actually can be a player coach as well if you want him to be. And it looks like we're going to be able to agree a deal with him. That would be a really really good signing for us. Uh, Jonas London. Yep, we know about. Perfect. Yep, we try to sign him already. As you can see, super talented attacking midfielder. Uh, Harkin Mild, who actually is a really really good holding midfielder for a couple of seasons. You can usually get him on the cheap, three hundred thousand. You know what, let's try to do that. Let's bring him in. Let's bring him in, shall we? Uh, that's, it's weird. That I, I hate that I can't just put in 300,000. I've got to play around. Because obviously this game was designed for older PCs. So one click equals like five clicks in the mind of the game itself. Um, all right, he looks okay. and looks special. League, League Cup draw, who we're playing. Is that a good tie? Yeah, Bristol City at home. Yeah, we'll take that. Uh, Tom Madeira, there he is. First signing of the save. So uh, we have just signed the legendary Toe Madeira. And that's a pretty good place to stop it there, to be honest with you. Um, again, I want to keep this uh, first video a little bit shorter than the rest of them. Um, but every single week there will be a uh, 15 to 30 to maybe 45 minute episodes um, just on every single Thursday. But uh, anyway, I hope you guys have enjoyed this first episode of a brand new Throwback Thursday series. And uh, if you like the video, remember to hit like button. If you uh, have any players that you think I should sign, uh, please put that in the comments below. Or if you have any uh, advice with garden tactics players whatever put it in the comments below i want to read them and i'm looking forward to hearing your responses uh but thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you all in the next part goodbye everyone